What do you mean there's a water with no waterfront? In the desert. Here, here's some sand. This is a very weird place. I'm moving. Generic control into that good move here. Back with something a little bit new. Today we're doing Night Vale, which is actually a series that has been requested by one of my patrons, Radio Dano, for quite some time. So I told him I would check out an episode or two, and then after that we might throw it in polls, depending on how well these are received. I don't know what it's about. I think he described it as kind of a podcast. I don't know if they're saying like spooky stories or ghost stories or like X Files, things like that. Well, I actually have never seen x-files i don't even know what x-files is about but that's just kind of like how we would imagine i have no idea what it's going to be the red bar is going across the bottom because he sent me the link to it i clicked on the link and automatically started playing episode one so that's why episode one has the red bar going across it i told him i would uh watch it or give it a shot and if you also enjoy it let me know because then i will continue it if i enjoy it and they're okay with me doing reactions i have no problem watching more of this i'm gonna try something new and we're gonna see how it goes i do read all your comments so leave some down below shout out to my patrons radio dano and all my other patrons because they get videos there early and a lot of time i paywall on the channel i'm completely against paywalls because i'm here to make you smile not make you pay and hope i can make your day just a little better i do read all your comments like i said whether you're a patron or not i hope that you were subscribed as we are trying to get a hundred thousand subscribers and like i said i don't know how many episodes there are of this the place has 245 videos i keep the it as like a podcast or something so i'm not really sure uh how well it's gonna do on the channel or whatnot i might do episode one and two and they do like they don't perform as well then i might throw them in polls in the future i'm not really sure because usually it's supposed to be a request but i told him i would absolutely try out at least an episode or two but let's go ahead and jump into the pilot of night veil vale. all right a friendly desert oh community it's where the oh it's okay rocks. so the moon is beautiful. Why does it remind me of uh, window reproductions? Overhead while we all pretend to sleep. Okay, so Welcome it's like an audiobook. Okay. Hopefully I don't use copyrighted music. If anything ever quiet, that's why. Or ever muted, that's why. So why does it it feels like an audiobook. It's not it's not like Night Vale is supposed to be like a book or something, you know? But there is like no visual stimulation going on right now. She does like some subway surf or something. <laughs> oh man. Hello, listeners. Wow, do you have a buttery off, voice? I've been asked to read this brief notice. The city council announces the opening of a new dog park at the corner of Earl and Somerset. Not the dogs. Rats. They would like to remind everyone that dogs are not allowed in the dog park. Wait, what? Why People are dogs are not allowed in the dog Who's park? Who's allowed in the dog park then? It is possible you will see hooded figures in the dog park. Do not approach them. Do not approach the dog park. Is where I have a pot filter? The fence is but electrified and highly dangerous. A dog Try not to look at the dog park. Sounds like a cover up. Especially do not look for any period of time at the hooded figures. The dog park will not harm you. You know when you and say that, news, I think it will harm me. Old woman Josie out near the car lot says the angels revealed themselves to her. Said they were ten feet tall, radiant, and one of them was black. Said they helped her with various household what? chores. <laughs> one of them Weird, changed oddly the specific for her. The porch light. Oh. She's offering to sell the old light bulb, which has been touched by an angel. Uh, it was the black angel housing. that sweetens the pot for anyone. What? If you're interested, contact old woman Josie. Old woman. She's out near the car lot. Sounds like a crackhead. A new man came into town today. Who is he? What does he want from us? Why his perfect and beautiful haircut? Why his perfect and beautiful coat? He says he is a scientist. Well, we have all been scientists at one point or another in our lives. Have but we? Why now? Why here? And just what does he plan to do with all those breakers and humming electrical instruments in that lab he's renting? The one next to Big Rico's Pizza. Big Rico? No one does a slice like Big Rico. I haven't had pizza no one. in just seven years. Just a reminder yeah. to all the parents out there. Over seven years now. Let's talk about safety when taking your children out to play in the scrublands and the sand wastes. You need to give them plenty of water. Make sure there's a shade tree in the area. No. And keep an eye on the helicopter colors. What colors? Are the unmarked what? helicopters circling the area black? Probably world government. Not a good area for play that day. Are they blue? That's the sheriff's secret police. They'll keep a good eye. It's almost on your like kids this is supposed to be like a TV show. Take one. 
Are they painted with complex murals depicting birds of prey diving? No one knows what those helicopters are or what they want. Who's voicing this? Do not play in the area. Return to your home and lock the doors until a sheriff's secret policeman leaves a carnation on your porch to indicate. We're just carrying around carnations. To, I believe in on every Cover house. Your ears to blot out the screams. The what? Also remember, Gatorade is basically soda. So give your kids plain old water and maybe some orange slices. I'm starting. To, I've never had an orange in my entire life. I'm 26 years old. I became a homeowner, homeowner before I ate an orange. A commercial but airliner flying. There, I feel like there's something in the water. Disappeared today. Oh. Only to reappear in the Nightvale Elementary Gymnasium during basketball. The practice, plane appears disrupting in practice quite badly. The jet roared through the small gym for only a fraction of a second. Did it explode? And before it could strike any players or structure, it disappeared. It vanished again. That sounds this terrifying. Time, apparently, for good. Where did it there go? There is no word yet on if or how this will affect Night Vale Mountain Lions game schedule, and also this if this could perhaps be the two million of their Jeez. bitter rivals, the Desert Bluffs Cacti. Desert Bluffs is always trying to show us up through fancier uniforms, better pre-game snacks, and possibly oh, by transporting snacks. a commercial jet into our gymnasium, delaying practice for several minutes at least. For shame, Desert Bluffs. Uh, for shame. What, you trying to shame them? Hey, trying to get that an advantage. New scientist. We now know is named Carlos. Called a town meeting. He has a square jaw, and teeth like a military cemetery. What is that His supposed to mean? His hair is oh. perfect, and we all I've been to Arlington. I know exactly what he's talking about. And love that perfect hair in equal measure. Old woman Josie brought corn muffins, which were decent but lacked salt. You mean cornbread? She said the angels had taken her salt for a godly mission, mm. and she hadn't yet gotten around to buying more. Understandable. Carlos told us that we are by far. The most scientifically interesting community in the U.S. Thanks, and he Carlos. had come to study just what is going on around here. He grinned, and everything about him was perfect. And I fell in love instantly. With Carlos? Huh? Government agents from a vague yet menacing agency. I can hear like the, the buzzing back in the background watching. of the mic. I fear for Carlos. I fear for Night Vale. I fear for anyone caught between what they know and what they don't yet know that they don't know. The what? The wait. The water is doing what to the frogs? <laughs> no, that's a reference. Uh, that's a meme. I feel like this gives like we received a press release this, this like morning. Midwest. The Night Vale Business Association is proud to announce CIA the opening of the brand new Night Area Vale Harbor and Waterfront Recreation Area. Harbor. I have been to these facilities myself recently on their invitation, and I can tell you that it is absolutely top of the line and beautiful. Sturdy docking areas made from eco-friendly post-consumer material. Oh, so we have recycling. A boardwalk for pedestrians. I don't know what it's supposed to be. And plenty of ready in. for local food vendors and merchants to turn into a bustling public marketplace. Now, there is some concern about the fact that, given we are in the middle of a desert, there is no actual water at the waterfront. What do you mean there's a water with no waterfront? that is a definite drawback. I agree. In the desert. For instance, here, here's the some sand. The is currently overlooking sagebrush and rocks. The business association did not provide any specific remedies for this problem, but they assured me that the new harbor would be a big boost to Night Vale nonetheless. Sounds like a trap. Maybe wait until a flash flood and head down there for the full water. You shouldn't go experience. anywhere in a flash flood except for high ground. The local chapter of the NRA is selling bumper stickers as part of their fundraising week. They sent the station one to get some publicity. Of course and I did. we're here to serve the community, so I'm happy to let you all know about it. The stickers are made from good, sturdy vinyl, and they read, Guns don't kill people. It's impossible to be killed by a gun. We are all invincible to bullets, and it's a miracle. Really? 
Stand outside of your front door. You must not have enough. NRA to order one. <laughs> uh, okay, that one. Carlos and his team of scientists warned that one of the houses in the new development of Desert Creek, out back of the elementary school, doesn't actually exist. What do you mean it doesn't exist? It seems like it exists. Is there anybody like Carlos on acid? Hair, like it's just right there when you look at it. And it's between two other identical houses, so it would make more sense for it to be there than not. Oh, but like, why is that not? They have done experiments, and the house is definitely not there. At news time, the scientists are standing in a group on the sidewalk in front of the non-existent house, daring each other to go knock on the door. The non-existent house. A great howling was heard from the Night Vale post office yesterday. Postal workers. This is a very weird knowledge. place. I'm moving. Although passers-by describe the sound as being a little like a human soul being destroyed through black magic. How do you know what that sounds the like? The Indian tracker. Now I don't know if you've seen this guy around. He's the one that appears to be of maybe Slavic origin, yet wears an Indian headdress out of some racist cartoon and claims to be able to read tracks on asphalt. What? He appeared on the scene and swore that he would discover the truth. No one responded because it's really hard to take him seriously in that headdress of his. Understandably, though. Does he talk with, like, an accent? Lights. Seen in the sky above the Arby's. <laughs> the Arby's? The glowing sign of Arby's. Something higher and beyond that. Super we Arby's? the difference. We've caught on to their game. We understand the lights above Arby's game. Invaders from another world. Aliens? Ladies and gentlemen, the future is here. I don't think and I want it's it. It's about a hundred feet above the Arby's. I kind of want Arby's now. But it's 11.40 p.m. at night, and I have two more videos to record after this. This is video number... Carlos and his scientists at the monitoring station near Route 800 say their video number seven. monitors have been indicating wild seismic shifts. Meaning to say that the ground should be going up and down all over the place. I don't know about you folks, but the ground has been as still as the crust of a tiny globe rocketing through an endless void could be. And that's an app Carlos description. Says that they've double checked the monitors and they are in perfect working order. To put it plainly, there appears to be catastrophic earthquakes happening right here in Night Vale that absolutely no one can feel. Well, what? Submit an insurance claim anyway. See what you can get, right? Yes. Higher Traffic premiums. Time, listeners. Now, police are issuing warnings about ghost cars out on the highways. Those cars only visible in the distance, reaching unimaginable speeds, leaving destinations unknown for destinations more unknown. Oh. Uh, okay. I would like to remind you that you should not set your speed by these apparitions, and doing so will not be considered following the flow of traffic. That. However... They do say that it's probably safe to match speed with the mysterious lights in the sky. Why? Whatever entities or organizations responsible appear to be cautious and reasonable. So they're just drivers. observing and they're driving. Did, and did now, they pass the driving test? The weather. The old church down the street. What? Concrete beneath my feet. This is the weather? The shadow. Hopefully this isn't copyrighted. I don't know. Does the water tower have three legs or four legs and that's the central pipe in the middle? These and more than these. You gotta dig in deeper. I speak in ancient tongues. Yeah, I don't know what Nightville's supposed to be. Well, you described it as like a podcast. I mean, that's two million views, so uh, that's crazy. Like, good for them. Oh, it has subtitles. I wonder if they actually made the subtitles. Or maybe they're just automated. Well, 
What was this holes? Oddly specific. Someday God will I will be whole. Wow. And up above I feel the love from That's impressive. The star in the sky. I'll never be alone. I will never cry. See romanticizing about the aliens being here? I'll never be alone. I will never die. It's like I'm gonna be friends with them. Speaking still, my will is not my will. I wonder what is real. That's a good question. These and more than these, these and more than these, digging deeper. These and more than these, you gotta dig in deeper. These and more. I don't know what the song. This isn't the weather. Is that? A, is everybody just crazy? It's always stuff in the middle of the desert where weird things happen. A kind of weird time for a song. Did not expect this to turn into a musical. Bongo. Welcome back, listeners. That was the weather? The sun didn't set at the correct time today, Carlos and his team of scientists report. They are quite certain about it. They checked multiple clocks, and the sun definitely set ten minutes later than it was supposed to. Okay, that's not that big of a deal. I asked them if they had any explanations, but they did not offer anything concrete. What did they Mostly, say? Mostly, they sat in a circle around a desk clock, staring at it, murmuring, and cooing. Is time yeah. moving differently We must or be grateful to have the sun at all. It's easy to forget in this hot, hot, hot desert climate, but things would actually be slightly harder for us without the sun. Slightly? We wouldn't the next exist. Time the sun rises, whatever time that turns out to be, take a moment to feel grateful for all the warmth and light and even no, it turns my skin red. Extreme heat that our desert community is gifted with. How many people are in this community? The city council would like to remind you about the tiered heavens and the hierarchy of angels. The reminder is that you should not know anything about this. What? The structure of heaven and the angelic organizational chart are privileged I, information. Privileged to whom? Known only to the city council members on a need-to-know basis. Okay, what happens when they're not on the city council anymore? Do not speak to or acknowledge any angels that you may come across while shopping at the Ralphs or at the Desert Flower Bowling Alley and Arcade Fun Complex. Okay, those are the only two places I'm going to shop from now on. lies and do not exist. Report I'm to think they exist. Sightings to the city council for treatment. For treatment? What is treatment? And now for a brief public service announcement. Alligators. Can they kill your children? Yes. Yes. Along those but lines, to get personal for a moment, I think the best way to die would be swallowed by a giant snake. No, that would not Going be feet first and whole into a slimy maw would give your life perfect symmetry. Is this a snake talking? Are they all about symmetry? That eyeball's not very symmetrical. Speaking of the desert flower bowling alley and arcade fun complex, its owner, Teddy Williams, reports like that the baseball he has player, found Ted the entrance Williams? to a vast underground city in the pen retrieval area of Lane 5. He said he has not yet ventured into it. I would merely peer down at its strange spires and broad avenues. He also reports voices of a distant crowd in the depths of that subterranean metropolis. Apparently, the entrance was discovered when a bowling ball accidentally rolled into it, 
Oh. Clattering down to the city below with sounds that echoed for miles across the impossibly huge cavern. Oh. So, you know, whatever population that city has, they know about us now. They were underneath we the dark might be hearing dark. from them very soon. Well, that's ominous. Carlos, perfect and beautiful, came into our <laughs> studio during Carlos. the break. Is this voiced by Carlos? Declined to stay for an interview. He had some sort of blinking box in his hand, covered with wires and tubes. That doesn't that sound he was good. Testing the place for materials. I mean, materials. I don't what materials? know what, what materials kind of materials he meant, yeah. but that box sure whistled and beeped a lot. When he put it close to the microphone, it sounded like well. Like a bunch of baby birds had just woken up. Really went Screaming. crazy. Yeah. Carlos looked nervous. Chirping. I've never seen that kind of look on someone with that strong of a jaw. He left in a hurry. Oddly specific. Told us to evacuate the building. But then, who would be here to talk sweetly to all of you out there? Settling in to be another clear night and pretty evening here in Night Vale. I hope all of you out there have someone to sleep through it with. Not tonight, or no. At least good memories of when you did. I do. It's also 11.49 p.m. Listeners. Good night, ominous good voice night. in my head. What's the last minute going to be? Just silence? Oh. Welcome to Night Vale is a production of Commonplace Books. Commonplace. It is written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner and produced by Joseph Fink. The voice of Night Vale is Cecil Baldwin. Original music by Disparition. All of it okay. can be downloaded for free at disparition.info. I don't know who that this is. This episode's weather was these and more than these, these... also by Joseph. <laughs> what? Check out commonplacebooks.com for so more it's a book. information on this show, as well as our books on the unused story ideas of H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft? What it means to be a grown-up. Today's problem... I don't want to be a grown-up. Look to the north. Keep looking. There's nothing coming from the south. That, I'm definitely thinking something's coming from the south. Okay, so it is a book. So this is basically an audio book. I don't know if anybody's ever reacted to an audio book before. And I'm guessing it's on YouTube, so I guess it's okay for me to upload this video and react to it. That probably explains why there's 254 parts. I don't know how much of the book was actually covered. I've never actually listened to an audio book before, so I don't know uh, basically like how many pages that this would cover in an audio book. But... I don't know, 20 minute long episodes, it's 245, must be a really, really long book, but like I said, I'm going to try an episode, maybe I'll try episode two as well, just depending on how they do and how these are received, and if they're not received well, then I might just throw them in a poll in the future, uh, and then if people really want them, then check the community poll, and then they can vote for episode three or four or five or whatever, unless they received really, really well, and in then case, I'll probably just do the entire thing, which would be one of the longest series I've ever done, I believe. But let me know what you think about this. This was requested by Radio Dana, one of my patrons. Um, but I do read all your comments. Leave some down below. It's very spooky. And maybe I should have watched the next episode too late at night. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe if it's your first time listening to it. I know there's a couple viewers out there that will uh, watch any of my videos as long as I'm in it, no matter what it is. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully uh you're introduced to night vale and hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully i made your day a tiny little better hopefully this is received and maybe this is just super, something super popular that i had never heard of before but like i said i hope it made your day a tiny little better but until the next video take care and keep the music we were playing as soldiers making so